Today, we're taking a deep dive into VPNs, your beginner's guide to how they work and why you need one. Let's jump in. First, let's talk about what a VPN is and the benefits to you. A VPN provides a lot of benefits, but in my opinion, there's two main benefits. One, it keeps all of your online activity private. And two, it allows you to connect to the internet in a much more secure way. So in the simplest terms, a VPN is another connection point between your device that you're trying to connect to the internet and where you're connecting to the internet, okay? So there's really two main benefits to this. One is if you connect through a VPN, it's going to mask any of your identity and keep your connection private to anyone that tries to intercept that connection or from the website that you're connecting to in general. And the second benefit is it creates a much more secure link between your device and where you're connecting to. And the way that it does this is think of any device that you have to connect to the internet, whether that's a, a computer or a laptop or a phone or a tablet, anything that you connect to the internet is gonna have an IP address associated to it. And that IP address has a lot of information about where you're located, some of your personal details, some of your account information, things like that. And so when you use that device to connect directly to a website or a server or anything else, there is a unsecure link between those two connection points that if somebody wanted to, they can get into that IP address, they can access your information and learn more about you and steal your identity, all sorts of nefarious things. With a VPN, instead of connecting from point A to point B, your device to the website or internet connection point, it creates a third spot. So it, you'll go from your device to the VPN and then from the VPN to the place that you're connecting to on the internet. And by creating that secure connection point, it now masks your IP address, it covers up any of your personal data, it creates a more secure link between you and the website that you're connecting to. So if the website wants to try to get your information from your IP address, it's not going to see it because all they're gonna see is that VPN connection point and not what comes before that. Now, another case is I have a lot of friends that use VPNs to choose where they are connecting to the server. So if you connect directly to the internet from your house, it's gonna to connect to the closest server point to you. But with the VPN, you could select a different region, really anywhere in the world, to make it look like you're connecting to that point from anywhere. And that there are various reasons that you may wanna do that. Employers and companies sometimes use a VPN for remote workers to remote into their server. They do this for the same reasons, to keep all of the data within the company secure and safe from anyone trying to connect that as they have remote employees trying to connect from various areas. The point is, is that by using a VPN, it adds an extra layer of security and privacy between you and anyone else on the internet. And if you understand that much, then you'll understand the benefits of having a VPN. Now, there are a lot of different VPN services that are out there. The one that I typically go to most frequently is NordVPN. I think it is the most reliable. I think it's the most secure. It's the most safe. They have a great pricing structure and it's really easy to use. Once you set it up, and I'll walk through it with you here in just a moment of how to set that up. It's very user friendly and you can set it and forget it and not have to worry about it. I'll leave a link in the description so you can just click on that and head directly over there. And they always have different v deals that are going on. It's gonna be some sort of monthly subscription service and it has all the different benefits and the security features that it has in there. And you can kind of look around and, and get more information from there. But all we wanna to do to set this up is we just wanna to go to the red button that says get NordVPN. Click on that. Then it's gonna give you some of these pricing structures and you could do by a two-year plan or one-year plan or monthly plans. 
And I'll show you, obviously it's gonna be more for the monthly plans, but just for example's sake, I'll show you what all of this entails. And they have all the different kind of extra features. You're always gonna get the secure fast VPN, but they have some malware options here and ad tracking blockers, uh, password manager, and, and it kind of goes up from there. For what we're looking to do, I'm just gonna show you what the basics so you can see just sort of the bare minimum that you can get with this that uh, really gives you the, the security and privacy that you need. From here, it's just gonna ask you to enter your email, credit card information to be able to complete the purchase. So I'm gonna do that now. And once you added in your payment information, then all you have to do is go to activate Nord account and it's gonna send a verification to your email address. And then it's gonna ask you to create a password. And then it'll take you to a page like this. Once your account is activated, then all you need to do is click the download button. And so this is going to add a desktop application for your computer, whether it's for Mac or PC, you just download the appropriate one there. They have all the different available versions across the bottom here. And of course, once you have an account set up, then you can also download the app for your phone or your tablet and any other devices that you're connecting to the internet. I'm just going to open up our downloads here and then you'll have a screen pop up like this. I'm just going to walk you through the installation process. We'll click next. Obviously, it's uh, letting you know that they value your privacy so that they have all the information there. Click accept. And then you have your option here if you want to add the browser extension and then also the Nord Pass, which is a password messenger. I'm going to not select that just because I already have a password messenger, so I don't need that. But I'm going to get the browser extension. Then you just click install and it gives you a little QR code here if you want to be able to download the app for your mobile device. And once it's installed successfully, you just click on launch NordVPN. And then from here, all we want to do is click on login and it's going to take you back to an authorization page to log in. And then it's going to redirect you back to the app. So we go open NordVPN and then a little screen will pop up here just asking you how you're planning on using this. And I just wanna say daily security and privacy. And we're connected to the United States and make your connection safer by always being on. So we're just gonna secure my connection. And with that, we are now connected. It's literally that simple. You can see up here that we are connected to the United States, Buffalo. This is the server that we are connected to. And if I need to turn that off for any reason, all I do is press pause here. And you could say that you wanna pause for five minutes or 15 minutes or disconnect completely. So let's say I just wanna do 15 minutes and now we are disconnected. If there's some reason I need to connect to something that I can't be able to use a VPN and then we can turn that back on just by clicking resume. And then you also have the option here, as I had described earlier, you can connect through different uh, locations, popular, more, more relevant ones. But then you can go down through here and literally look through almost virtually every country in the world that you can connect from. And the last thing that we're going to do is we're just going to set up this auto connect feature. So we're going to manage auto connect, click on that. So you want to make sure that auto connect is on all networks. And then you can either create a custom connection if you know a little bit more about how to set that up, or you could just have it select allow it to auto select the fastest connection, which is the way that I usually leave that on. And that way, every time you get online, it's already connected and you have the peace of mind knowing you're secure and private. So we're just going to close that out. And it's literally that simple to set up Nord VPN. It's one of those things that literally with just a few clicks of the button, once you set up your account, it runs in the background. You don't have to worry about it. But if you want to get into some of the more advanced features, those options are there as well. So again, I'll leave a link in the description so you'll be able to go directly to NordVPN through there. And with that, you now understand the basics of how to use a VPN and why you need one. I hope you found this helpful and I'll see you in the next one.